to perform the individual manual muscle test for the palmar interossei. The patient is seated at the table with the hand up in the air. One of the first things we need to do when speaking about the palmar interossei is clarify just where they are. Gray's Anatomy, uh, Newman's Kinesiology Text, and Kendall's Muscles Testing and fu Function all speak of a first palmar interosseus that is in the thumb. Netter and many physicians and clinicians, however, uh, disregard that first palmar interosseus and describe the first palmar interosseus as actually existing in the index finger. We're going to talk about the first palmar interosseus as being in the thumb, however, and when we're talking about that, uh, Kendall describes a muscle test for the first pulmonary interosseus of the thumb as uh, resisted adduction of the thumb. The problem that I have with that is that the first pulmonary interosseus originates on the metacarpal, inserts on the proximal phalanx, so it only crosses the metacarpal phalangeal joint and the metacarpal phalangeal joint in the thumb does not allow abduction or, a, or adduction. So it's really the first pulmonary interosseus in the thumb is really a thumb metacarpal phalangeal joint flexor. And there is no good way to isolate it from the other thumb metacarpal phalangeal joint flexors. So I'm of the opinion that there is no individual manual muscle test for the first pulmonary interosseus. The second pulmonary interosseus in the index finger adducts the index finger at the metacarpal phalangeal joint. To test this, the fingers are held in, in extension at both the metacarpal phalangeal and the inner, inner phalangeal joints. Stabilize the metacarpal of the index finger. With the fingers held together, you're going to sneak your testing finger in between so that you are applying pressure to the ulnar aspect of the proximal phalanx of the index finger and you are applying pressure in a radial direction. Stabilizing the metacarpal, I want you to hold your finger right there. Don't let me move it. Hold, 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 hold. Just like that. The third palmar interosseus then is in the ring finger the, in order to perform the individual manual muscle test for the third palmar interosseus, you're going to stabilize the metacarpal for the ring finger. The fingers are going to be held in extension and together, adducted together. Sneak your finger in between so it is on the radial side of the proximal phalanx for the ring finger and you're going to apply resistance in an ulnar direction. As our subject has so cooperatively done, you need the small finger out of the way while doing this test. So stabilize the metacarpal and push the uh, proximal phalanx in an ulnar direction. Hold, 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 hold. Good. Let's try that one more time and let's try to maintain a little more extension at the metacarpal phalangeal joint. So keep your finger straight back like this. Good. Hold it there. Hold, 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 hold. Very good. For the fourth palmar interosseus, that goes to the small finger. Same thing, we're going to have the fingers in extension. Stabilize the fourth or fifth metacarpal bone or the metacarpal bone for the small finger. Sneak your testing finger in alongside of the proximal phalanx. So you are applying pressure to the radial side of the proximal phalanx of the small finger and you are applying that resistance in a ulnar direction. So I'm going to stabilize the metacarpal here and apply resistance. I want you to hold your finger there. Keep the finger straight. Hold, 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 hold. Very good. And that one tends to be a little bit weaker of a muscle. Substitution would include uh, ulnar or radial deviation of the wrist in order to compensate for uh, weakness of the palmar interossei at the MP joints. You cannot palp palpate the palmar interosseus as they are too deep. 